Hi there, it's Lee here again. Today I'll be breaking down the settings of a mention alert. So we've created that project, even made our first alert, but now it's time to break down the settings of this alert to ensure that Awario only collects the most relevant results. First, click the settings icon found next to your alert. Welcome to the alert settings. Time to meet all our backstage operators. First, we've got the keyword field. Here you'll enter in the keywords you'd like Awario to monitor. You can use single keywords or multi-word phrases depending on your usage case. I'll go ahead and type in Tesla Motors in quotation marks. This tells Awario to collect exact matches of this phrase. If I enter it in without quotation marks, this tells the app to search for the individual words Tesla and Motors within six gaps of each other within the same sentence. The website field is for the website of the brand that you're monitoring. Entering a URL here tells Awario not just to collect the brand's name, but also each time someone posts this URL, whether in its full format or as a hyperlink. This is particularly useful for tracking each and every time someone mentions a URL, no matter how it's been written. Moving on to negative keywords now. Here is where you'll input keywords that you'd like to exclude from the search. This is particularly useful for those with common business names or acronyms, especially so if the business is named after a person. Take Saul Goodman and Associates, for example. Searching for such a name is bound to return irrelevant results, which is why I'd consider adding TV, Breaking Bad, and any other keywords to filter out mentions of a particular TV series. Next up, the languages filter. Here you'll choose which language you'd like to collect mentions in. The list contains virtually all the languages that you'd ever need. The same goes for the country filter. Select one or more countries and Awario will collect results that have been determined to be from those countries. Note the unknown country. No, it's not Atlantis. This is to collect mentions which don't have a reliable country available. For example, Twitter users who like to pretend that they are behind you or something equally as creative. If you want to collect mentions from them too, make sure to select unknown in the countries list. Moving on to sources now. Here you can pick and choose which social networks and platforms you'd like Awario to monitor. Right now, our tool collects mentions from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Reddit, news networks and blogs, and lastly, all publicly accessible websites, such as those you could find by searching on Google or Bing. Lastly, the date range option for historical data. By default, it's set to all time, but if you're only interested in collecting the freshest of mentions, we can set whichever time frame we'd like right here. You might be asking yourself, what is Boolean search? Those who need it probably already know. Boolean search is meant for creating a fine-tuned, well-oiled, and high-performance query that slices cleanly through all irrelevant mentions, finding only the exact mentions relevant to your needs. This is done by using a variety of Boolean operators and groups. We've implemented a table and guide for all our available operators right within the query window. Moving on to the whitelist option. Here you can input accounts for both Facebook and Instagram that are given priority during mention collection. The same goes for entering a website URL. If you'd like to only collect mentions from a specific list of Facebook or Instagram accounts or website URLs, then you can go ahead and enable strict mode. This is perhaps useful in monitoring posts from a particular influencer, or you'd like to monitor mentions of a keyword on one website. The blacklist, on the other hand, does quite the opposite. Enter any names on the blacklist and they'll be excluded from the search. This is particularly useful if you're monitoring social media handles, which include somewhat common keywords. Join me in the next segment, where I'll demonstrate working with and organizing the results found in the mentions feed.